Ladies and guys who like hearing crazy fucking stories. Crazy stories about fucking. Andy here, author of the best Tinder guide on the internet. This is the Killer and a Loser show. I don't actually have much of an intro to do here because this story kind of speaks for itself. I sat down with one of my mates, one of my longtime mates, who just did something absolutely crazy. He fucked some guy's hot 41-year-old wife in front of him. Cucking, whatever you want to call it wasn't technically cucking it's a bit of a clickbait title given the guy was into it but holy shit what a story with no further ado let's fucking go hope you enjoy it can you yeah. do you want to just tell the story do you want to like yeah sure i'll through? give it a go i'll give it a go <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah obviously like matched with this um older girl on tinder she was like 41 so I had, she's pretty I had hot tinder gold. she's yeah hot. you've shown me yeah. pictures yeah, she was fit. Um, yeah, so I had I had Tinder Gold and I set my max age to 99. So I don't miss like those girls that for some reason set their age to like <laughs> 62, whatever it's going to be. Um, so yeah, I saw this 41 year old like match me and I opened up her profile. And she was actually like fit, like she had a nice face, nice features and whatnot. So I'm like, all right, I'll just match and you know, whatever. It's just another match, right? Um, and then, yeah. I opened her up with like your standard line, like, hey, such and such, you're sexy. Um, you know, such and such, what are you up to? What do you do for fun? And um, yeah, it turns out that she actually wasn't in the city at the moment. She was um, yeah, just traveling um to some country town or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But she was gonna be back next week. I'm like, okay, you know, logistics, Tinder, like everything's so wishy washy. So probably in a week's time, like you would have even forgotten me. So I just let it you know try to just yeah ignore it and move on to the next match or whatever um but yeah like a week later she actually hits me up and she's like oh hey i'm back in you know in back in melbourne like um yeah we should catch up and i'm like oh yeah you free tonight um let's go for drinks and she's mm -hmm. like oh yeah let's do that it sounds good um we'll meet you at 7 p.m wait 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 wait, wait wait so so she hadn't mentioned that she had a husband until this point no like okay in what her, the um... fuck you can't just you can't just say like we i feel like you that's not how you say it you have to have it in your tinder bio you have to fucking mention like by the way i have a husband and he's gonna come you can't just be like we so literally like okay i forgot to mention um in her tinder bio she had she said um not looking for anything serious and that's saying right like yeah. no strings attached that i think that means yeah so I'm like, okay, so she's just looking for some fun. I thought she was just, you know, one of these older single women. Yep. So it was only at this point when she's like, oh, we'll meet you at um 7 p.m. tonight. And I'm like, wait, we? <laughs> I'm like, wait, we? Who's we? And she's like, oh, my husband is going to come along too. And I'm thinking, okay, like, don't go any further with this. This is already yeah, getting I'm about, I'm about to get like gang raped or I'm about to get literally, like kidnapped literally. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. But I'm so I'm, I asked her, like, what do you mean your husband is coming? Like, what's the plan? And she's like, oh, well, we'll just meet you. And yeah, if we like you and if the vibe is good, then you, know, you can come <laughs> back to our place for some fun. And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> so yeah finished off work because this was like afternoon right like i checked in during mm -hmm. work from home um so yeah eventually meet up with them at the bar and i'm just like all right if this if this is like too weird like i am yeah. meeting them at the bar so yeah from there i can just bounce like it's no biggie um so yeah meet them at the bar and yeah there she is actually looks better than her photos in person i'm like wait are you actually the person in your photo? She was like the opposite of a catfish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've like had that, like, that's so rare, but like when yeah. it happens, it's amazing. It's like, yeah. bitch, you got to take better pictures. Yeah, literally, yeah. literally. Like in the pictures, she just looks like, you know, your kind of standard 40, 41 year old lady. Yeah. But in person, she was, yeah, literally like a bombshell, like just a dime piece. So I'm like, holy shit. And then I saw the husband and he's just, you know, your random dude, like any other guy that you'll see on the street. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting um like he's he doesn't look like rich or anything he's not like buff he's a bit buff which okay. is why i was like slightly apprehensive because i'm yeah, like, like this guy's going fucking into it I'm just like, me. yeah exactly going into it i'm like if this guy can beat me up then i'll probably bounce <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> right you're, so I'm you're, just gonna, you're like... pretty big you're pretty big yourself for people who can't see like you you hit the gym you're pretty yeah strong. yeah exactly but yeah. so but yeah i was just like all right if i get there and say that this guy could 
probably beat me up, then I'll bounce. So I get there and I see the guy and he could definitely beat me up. <laughs> but I still stay. <laughs> because once I saw the lady, once I saw, you know, the mill, quote unquote, I'm like, damn, yeah, okay. So this Dude. is actually what yeah, if like she's was... like the distraction so that he can like take your kidneys or something. I mean, yeah. could have been. Easily, easily heard stories like that. So yeah, shake the dude's hands. Um, yeah, we all sit around like one of the couches in this bar and he goes and grabs drinks. And yeah, we just like getting to know each other. And like immediately the girl's just like, the lady's just like, you know, flirting with me, looking me in the eyes, like touching my arm. And, and you know, okay, what's the husband doing while this shit is happening? So he goes back with his drinks and sits down and, and he's he like, cool. that drinking. And it's just like, you know, part of the conversation. Okay. Like you wouldn't think, like anyone looking from the outside in wouldn't think like we're on a date. We're just like talking about the weather, the sports, like just random shit. And for me, it was like very confusing because obviously never done anything like this before. Like, yeah, I know. I was it's like you don't, with... you don't have a template. You don't know like what you're yeah. supposed to do. Yeah. I'm like, should I just focus on the lady or am I supposed to involve the dude as well? Or, <laughs> or should I just shut up? Like, should I just shut up and let them interview me? Because like, yeah. I feel like they're the ones that are supposed to be leading or being the dominant ones in this situation. So, dude, dude, this must be how like every girl that my girlfriend Imogen and I date. This must be how they feel. Yeah, literally. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? What are the rules? No, that makes sense because half of them say that they're like, "What do yeah. I do? Like, what do I exactly? Am I doing exactly. a good job? Yeah, yeah. So literally, like, halfway through our like our time at the bar, I asked the lady, like, "Oh." how am I doing? <laughs> right? Because I didn't know. Like she said, oh, if the vibe is good, then yeah, yeah obviously we'll go back to our place yeah. and have some fun. So literally, same as your girls. I was just like, so how am I doing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. think the vibe is good? Like you think this is going to happen? Um, and yeah, she basically says like, yeah, we like you a lot. I'm like, okay. And, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I got to ask because this is like yeah. from a selfish point of view. Did they have some like code or something? Because Imogen and I have a code that we do like if if it's a yes, so we both know if it's a yes or a no. Like, did these mm. guys have any code, or maybe you just didn't pick up on it? Like, how yeah. does she know that the husband's nothing, cool with it? Nothing that I picked up on. Nothing that maybe I. Maybe they have up some on. keywords, or they do some like, was, hand signals. I was trying to actually just claim from the husband himself, like if he's okay with it, because those times yeah. where I was like talking with the girl, and I would like look over the husband yeah. and notice myself like trying to observing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Is he gonna let me it? fuck his wife? Yeah. <laughs> literally and i'm just like <laughs> i catch myself like literally looking like staring into his eyes basically for like a couple of seconds too long just trying to yeah. you know gauge yeah. where he's at and or i'm just like, like oh shit snap permission. back out of it yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> but um yeah like i don't know what his deal was or why he wanted to be involved in this or whatever but anyway that's for later but um yeah so obviously we're at the bar drinking everything's going good and then eventually like okay we haven't had dinner yet so we're gonna go grab dinner and yeah we'll meet you back at our place in an hour or so and i'm like okay cool so then rational me is thinking at this point all right this is your last chance right to bounce out of this whole yeah, situation yeah, 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 just yeah, like yeah. Go before you get stabbed like, you've had your fun like you've had drinks you've indulged yeah let's get out of here but i'm like the curious side of me is like now nah, let's see where this is gonna go <laughs> Um, so yeah, they go their separate ways, have dinner or whatever. I'm just chilling in the bar and yeah, eventually the hour was around and I catch an Uber back to their place and yeah, I text the lady like, oh yeah, I'm downstairs and already I'm like, you know, scoping the corners, seeing like how I'm going to make my, <laughs> my great getaway. Right. If shit goes to, <laughs> wait, did you, text any, did you tell anyone this was happening? Did you text any of your mates? Um, texted you. And text yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I can't do anything. I'm across the other know, side right? of the country. I can't come <laughs> save your life. I know, right? I know, right? But you're I mean, I guess I could call the police. It. But you didn't tell me where the address was. I know, so... I know. I wasn't, I wasn't counting on anyone coming to save me. I'm just like, this is it, right? If it happens, yeah. it happens. If I die, I die. But right. at least maybe like my mom. I can, I can put something Like you could tell my mom. Or... Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, so we yeah. know at least where it went. He died. He died doing what he loves, cucking, <laughs> cucking, <laughs> cucking other guys' wives. Which apparently wasn't cucking. Like someone replied on my face, like, "Oh, this is not cuckold." I don't even know. I thought it was cuckold, but apparently no, it's not. 
Cuckolding means when you raise, like getting cucked means you raise someone else's child. Technically, sure, fine. But let's mm. just use the word cuckolding. Yeah, like for me, that's I feel like the that's, word, right? yeah. that's the only thing. Yeah, I know how to describe it by. But um, yeah. So I let you know, and then texted yeah. one other mate. Yeah, and this one was in Melbourne. So okay, fine. Okay, <laughs> he actually lived in like the next suburb over as well. So okay, good. Um, but yeah, so the husband comes down. And again, I'm like catching myself, like staring into his eyes, like trying to gauge like what's about to happen. And he's like, oh, how you doing, mate? And like shakes my hand. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, good, good. Like, you know. Good, just about to I'm, fuck your wife. Like, like... Obviously, like I'm not about to fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, yeah, I'm just like, I, I can't even think straight to be honest. But um, yeah, he leads me upstairs to the Airbnb that they're staying at. Yeah. And yes. Yeah, up another flight of stairs and then i open the door or he opens the door actually because he's leading the way yeah he opens the door and yeah from around the corner immediately this like lady comes out in like a two-piece like lingerie set like this black and i'm just like eh like what <laughs> like this is actually happening i think because i was expecting either i'm gonna see her like just sat down on a desk or something like that, or uh, it's yeah. be just like knives and guns or whatever, like on the bed. They steal your kidney. What, like, I don't know, exactly. So yeah, she comes out in this like lingerie and I just like look her up and down and she's just, yeah, literally got like the body of like an 18 year old, like fit, like tight and everything. I'm just like, 21? Like I was just shocked. Um, she's, like, she's like, yeah, hey, welcome, you know, good to see you again, we were waiting for you. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she basically, like, grabs me at the hand, like, pulls me into the room, sits me down on a, on a chair that they had in there. And, um, yeah, the husband just follows behind and lays down on the bed, right, in mm -hmm. their bedroom. And, yeah, basically, she just, like, pulls off my jacket, pulls off my shirt, um, unbuckles my pants and starts giving me like head and yeah I was just surprised at how good it was as in how like good literally it was. yeah like literally the best I've ever received in my life well, I mean, she's, it, she's 41 dude she's had a lot of years to practice I, guess, I mean I guess so I yeah. guess so <clears throat> but yeah I was just like no there's no way you can be 41 and hot and have good head <laughs> right? yeah like I'm sure like, even can't, people can't listening to this People listening to this must be like, okay, this guy's so me. like full of shit, yeah. But I can vouch for you, like we've been mates for years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's not full of shit. Um, so yeah, she's just uh, giving me head for probably what seems about like twenty or thirty minutes, because I'm just like, all right, you're leading, so I'm gonna let you go to the next step, like take it to the next yeah, step. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, she never does. She just seems to really enjoy like giving me head, and I'm like, I'm fine with that, right? Mm -hmm. And from time to time, like the husband is still there on the on the bed, and I catch myself again, like looking over at him, like just seeing what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and he's just like just chilling, just watching. Like he's not he's not jacking off. He's he's not taking any of his clothes off. He's literally just sat there. Like I tell you why. I tell you why, my friend, because you're the foreplay. As soon as you mm. leave, he would have fucked the shit out of his wife. I bet you. Oh uh, yeah. I bet yeah, you're the foreplay actually, man. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. You're, you're probably the right. You're the foreplay. I've done that with Imogen before. I've done that plenty of times. Where it's like you yeah. fool around with the girl, you make her feel good, you make her orgasm and shit, and then the second she leaves, you fuck each other's brains out. Yeah. 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 You're probably right about that, actually. Um. But yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh uh, yeah. So like um yeah, made eye contact with him a couple of times, mm -hmm. and like mid head right, and then sometimes he's, he just like replies like amazing right okay is, this, like... is, is that weird because it's like you're you're in this like sexual experience but then at the same time like because the dudes there it's like two dudes interacting and so like yeah you're being bros like but it's also his wife exactly. so it is sexual and he's obviously head, getting some a... pleasure from yeah it's like both it was a massive mind fuck yeah I was so confused but it'll be like amazing right I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> what do you want to fucking Yelp review? Yeah, it's good head. Thanks, bro. Oh like, <laughs> so that happened a couple of times, but eventually, like, I'm distracted enough by the head. And okay, yeah. he's like basically not doing anything, just laying there. Like, he basically fades into the background and becomes like, you know, part of the scenery, part of the furniture. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that, you know, makes things easier for me. 
Um, and then, yeah, eventually I got like the courage and I was, you know, started to get a little bit bored of the head. So I was like, yeah. all right, let's see how far I can take this because this might actually happen now. So I start to like put her bra and like maybe pull down a strap or two and then like glance over at the husband to see if there's like a reaction Yeah, make sure he's not going to like stab you. <laughs> Don't touch my fucking wife, bro. Exactly. Head, head only, bro. Exactly. <laughs> but no, just... Uh, yeah, the girl was like, you know, she liked that. So I was like, okay, let me pull down the other bra strap. And yeah, she liked that too. Um, and yeah, eventually she basically just like gets up, um, puts my hand down her, you know, panties, right? And I feel like how wet she is. And I'm like, oh, damn, like you're actually enjoying this. And she's like, yeah, you've got me like wet as fuck. And I'm just like, I'm dreaming, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, this, like, this, this just like, sounds okay. so... Yeah, I, I've had a few crazy experiences. Not, I won't say one like anything like this, but like when you're having those crazy experiences, your brain is just going like, "This isn't real. I'm asleep. Like this isn't real. Yeah, like, this shit isn't happening." Literally. Especially Literally. not as like easy as that, where like they take the lead and do everything. I think the internet cut out there for a bit. What did you say? So the last thing I said was, especially not when it's so easy and they're taking the lead and all you, yeah, you you, you just you just come along for the ride. You just don't yeah. fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot to mention as well, like she actually smelled amazing. Like, I don't know if you've been strippers before, but you know how like strippers will have like a really strong, but almost yeah. rare, like yeah. perfume that they wear that literally like will hang on your clothes like yeah. for days, but it actually smells like amazing. Like for some reason, you just don't smell that smell anywhere else. I don't know how they do it, what they do, but this is what this lady smelled like. And yeah, I literally felt like I was just having sex with like a really hot retired stripper. <laughs> I mean, that's anyway, awesome. I hadn't even got up to the sex part yet, but yeah, go, eventually go, 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 I had sex go. with her. But um, yeah, so eventually she pulls me up like this rose, like like takes off the rest of her lingerie, pulls me over to the bed, and yeah, I push her down onto the bed, and the husband like makes as if he's about to get up to like you know give us some room, mm -hmm. but um. Yeah, I guess he changed his mind because he just laid there basically like next to us. I'm like, I guess this is how it's going to be. So, yeah. Um, was that distracting? Because I think that would have been distracting for me. But it sounds like at some point you just kind of like tuned him out. Yeah, like pretty much, pretty much. Because as well, like the Airbnb they were staying at, I think it was a double or a queen size bed. So it wasn't even like massive. So literally I could reach out and touch him at this point if I wanted to. High five in um, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like fist bump, fist bump. <laughs> but um yeah. So yeah, I think basically at this point we started fucking, right? This started having sex, like different positions and whatnot. And this is like, you know, for me it's like routine, right? Like it's just sex, but at the same time it's just like a whole different thing. Like there's some rich dude laying on the bed fully clothed next to me and not making a sound while I fuck his hot milky wife. So that's the new bit about it, but everything else is just kind of like, okay, I've done this before. I, yeah. I, I would give anything to be in his brain. And like, I'll ask you about this in a second, if you're ever going to see these people again, but if you did, like, please ask him and be like, what's it like for you? Like, what do you, I'm so fucking curious. Like, aren't you mm. like, what the hell's in his head? Like, is he enjoying this? Is like, yeah, man. I wanted to know so badly. I wanted to yeah. know so badly. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, like, mm. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's more like, like what, what aspect of it turns them on? Like, like, yeah. I would love to dive deep in that shit and figure that out. Yeah. It's amazing to me. Yeah. Likewise. Likewise. Um, so yeah, the sex was sex, right? And then that was over, but it was good sex anyway. Like she was actually really good in bed. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So afterwards, like the come down, like we were just kind of talking and we're like, oh yeah, that was really fun. They're like it was really fun like we should do this again if you're you know still in melbourne and yeah if you're down for it i'm like yeah sure it was fun you know you guys seem to be like cool people and yeah and that was pretty much it so i like you know dressed up <laughs> dressed up like cleaned myself up and walked out and yeah i was like wow i yeah, went through that and didn't me. die yeah you texted <laughs> I think I texted me you yeah and um, you're like i'm a real think... life bull bro yeah. <laughs> i, I just that, cut right? some guy's wife yeah <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh. I don't know if you saw that because I think you replied in the morning because you didn't yeah. even reply to my first text. Yeah, like, I replied maybe you were sleeping later. already. That yeah. Been yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the other mate that I texted, I called him when I left yeah. and I was like, yo, I met it at a live and actually did it. And he's like, yo, dude, like <laughs> you're on another, you're on another level. <laughs> I had oh I had a gosh. mate, dude. I had a mate. Uh, you're gonna know who, but I won't yeah. say it on air. But he's like yeah, the British yeah. the British guy that we used to be friends with in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it was one of his fantasies. Like he wanted to do this. He wanted to be the bull, but he just like never got around to doing it. So like, yeah. you beat him. <laughs> was was this Fancy okay? That, huh? I have like so many fucking questions. Was this a fantasy yeah. for you? Like, was this something you'd ever thought about before? Not really. Not really. Like, um. Like, obviously, I've seen it before, but yeah. it wasn't, like, something high up on my list that's, like, something I wanted to tick off or anything like that. But, obviously, if it happens, then it happens. Yeah. Yeah. And I, f- I feel like there's so many variables. Like, the way this happened was as perfect as it could have been for you. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. think you could make it any more perfect. Like, the dude doesn't get involved. He doesn't fuck with you in any way. He just, like, lets you do whatever. He doesn't even make a sound. So, he's not, like, distracting you yeah the wife is super hot the wife is super into it they both take the lead it's like so many things went right here like this was as perfect as it could have been for you and like they have absolutely done this before like they must have done this a lot right that's actually something i asked them in the come down i'm like so do you guys do this often and they're like oh really the last time we did it was 18 months ago with some german okay okay that's interesting to me but the reason i said do just there is because like everything you're doing is exactly what all the girls do that we sleep with. That's the question yeah. they ask all the time after sex. They're like, do you guys do this often? Like every single time. It's like, it's so fucking oh interesting gosh. to me that like you're on the other end of it. Yeah, literally like, I'm on the other end of like yeah. your exact same situation. It's, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. It was a flip. Do you think, and we talked about this privately, but like for anyone listening, you're black. Mm. Do you Do you think that had something to do with it. Do you think that was like part of the fantasy for them? Do you think they're like, oh, this black guy's going to come fuck my wife? Oh. Or do you think that's just like a happy coincidence? Because you said uh, they banged some German guy, so maybe it's not. Because like the, they said the last time that they did it was a German dude. So yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if it was just, you know, your Anglo German or like another yeah. black German. Like I didn't go that far into details, but um. Yeah, so if that was the case, then where that guy was also black, then yeah, it must be a thing for It them. doesn't so, mean they always I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and so, I'm not yeah, trying not to be I'm sure. not trying to be fucking dismissive here. You're an attractive guy, you know that. I tell you that all the fucking time. I tell you that every five minutes. <laughs> Thanks. So it's not, it's not just that. But like I did wonder when you texted me and you're like, Hey, I'm gonna be a bull, I was like, Oh my god, he's like the stereotype. Like he's <laughs> exact, it's like, bro, could you just like fit the mold anymore? <laughs> It's like attractive, black, young, muscular dude. Yeah. Fuck some white guy's wife. Yeah. Yeah. But to be honest, like, all right. So I told you I'd seen this kind of thing before, like in porn, right? But whenever I saw it in porn, um, the the dude would always be like six foot six, like muscly, yeah, but like six foot six and like just basically a stud of a, of a person, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm 5'10. I'm muscly, but I'm not like jacked. Yeah. So, you know, this is like out of the question for me. It's like out of the realm of like what's possible. Yeah, that's, so that's a really the mindset I had. Like, you know, as in, wait, wait, wait. You thought that when you were like already on the when you already had match with them, like when you were already on the date. No, or, like or just in general, like just in general, like about okay. life. Like, okay, I've seen this in porn, but I'm like, it's not something worth having on like my bucket list because it wouldn't happen to me anyway. Because I'm just not that studly or jacked of a man to qualify right for some for a couple that would want to fulfill this kind of fantasy like i just didn't think i'll be you know on that level to make it on their list we could extrapolate and say like do you know how many people hit me up for that shit with like or or hit me with that shit with like threesomes that we're like Mm. i'm not the guy that has threesomes and it's like Mm. exactly this point it's like you don't have to be you have some like idea of it's almost like a caricature in your mind of like some perfect god who can like cuck other guys wives and like all that kind of shit and it's like Nah, it's really just be in the right place at the right time. Just look yeah. decent, which you definitely do. You have good Tinder pictures. You're attractive. Yeah. And then just like, in this case, it was don't fuck it up. 
but in other cases it's play the numbers game like just match yeah, with a lot exactly. of people talk to a lot of women yeah exactly exactly so yeah it's fucking crazy. I was going to say something, but I forgot now. <laughs> fucking crazy. That's all I got to say. I'm so glad you came. Like, thank you for coming on here. But like, I just wanted to talk to you about this shit. And I'm glad we yeah. can do it like properly. Like, so rather than over text, it, it's not the same. But like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Man, I, exactly. I can't believe you've done this. Like, Neither can I, I, was in my I, I told you, like, it literally felt like yesterday where it stopped feeling like a dream. I was like, okay, you actually did that shit. <sighs> do you have any, I mean, you're not exactly the expert, but you've done it once. Do you have any advice for anyone else who's like i feel like it's hard to give advice though right because this kind of just happened like you yeah didn't go out like i didn't this. go out looking for this or anything like that it just yeah it just happened and i guess i was open to it right like i could have yeah. chickened out i'd be like no nah, i don't want to or whatever but i was just like i was open to it and yeah let's see where this goes and yeah but everything else i guess that i've been doing up to that point allowed for this to be possible it's like so they say, i guess the advice would still be the same yeah right? it'd be like self-improvement it's like that that thing that people always say where they're like oh you're lucky and it's like well in order to be successful you have to have luck but you also have like have to have preparedness like you have yeah. to fucking get your shit together and then you put yourself in a place where luck can happen like a lot exactly. of my lays have been luck i would say i don't know 50 percent of them have just been dumb luck like a yeah, lot luck, of the luck. crazy shit i've done has been like dumb luck but you hmm. still made it happen. You still messaged her. You still didn't fuck it up. Yeah. There were a thousand points you could have said like, no, nah, I can't do this. I'm going to peace out. You could have said like, I don't feel up for this. You could have said, I'm not six foot six. I'm not the right guy. I'm not what they're looking for. I'll do a bad job. This is too much pressure. Like, and exactly. a lot of people do turn that shit down, by the way. I think people exactly. don't, especially with like threesomes and shit. I think people don't realize how much they, even just getting laid in general, they don't realize how many opportunities they turn down. And then they'll yeah. just say, I'm unlucky. And it's like, yeah, yeah, not really. You had a million opportunities, but you just either didn't take them all, didn't pull the trigger, or actively like fucked some of them up. Yeah, yeah, every yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. As long as you're, yeah, prepared. As long as you're actually putting in the work and playing the numbers game and mm -hmm. just being open, I guess, to life experience. Then, yeah, yeah, it's, I feel like yeah. at that point, like nothing's impossible. Anything could happen. And that last point is probably the best advice we could give. Because again, I'm struggling to like, I shouldn't say I'm struggling. We have to think a little hard to like give advice given this kind of just happened. But the last thing mm -hmm. you said is probably the best advice that I could give is like be open-minded. I can't tell you yeah. how many like weird sexual experiences I've had where a girl would either make a joke or she'd say something and I'd just be like, maybe we should do that. Like there's one woman that I fucked at her workplace in the public toilets like in the lobby yeah. of her building. Mm -hmm. And that happened because we couldn't organize like to meet up. We were just both busy. She worked uh, like evenings and I worked daytimes. And then she randomly like jokingly said, you could always come and like meet me on my lunch break. And I like jokingly said, but yeah, but we couldn't have sex. And she's like, yeah, probably not. And I was like, well, I mean, maybe we could go to a, a, pl a public place. And she was like, well, I mean, there is a toilet in my lobby, but like no way we'd do that. That's crazy. And then it happened. Because mm -hmm. it was like preparedness, like you said, and and keeping an open mind and not letting the hurdles get in the way. Like in my case, yeah. it was like for that one story, it was like I had to kind of make that happen. In your case, it was more like just say yes, just keep an open yeah. mind. Yeah, I th actually, I think people forget yeah. how much they they say no or they don't realize how much they're saying no. What were you gonna yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like this concept of um just seeing yourself as kind of like a vessel. Right. Like if you're just if you just see yourself as a vessel that's, mm -hmm. you know, riding the wave mm -hmm. and you just continue to ride that wave, then as long as you're like on the right path, then mm -hmm. you end up in the right place somehow. Like it seems yeah. for some reason like life tends to work out that way. Where yeah, if you just if you see yourself as a vessel and actually like build the vessel yourself into something worth like, you know, worth meeting, worth getting to know, whatever, then mm -hmm. she tends to work out for some reason. Yeah, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't gone to the gym, you know, maintained yeah. a lean physique, worked exactly. on Exactly, I was going to say that as well. Yeah. Like, probably, yeah, probably be big, right? Probably yeah. have muscle. That would help, definitely. Yep, yep, yep. All of which is, like, absolutely fucking doable. I really like exactly. what you said about, like, a vessel. 
like building yourself up to be a badass fucking ship that you can just sail those seas and then when random things do happen that seem like complete luck you'll remember i mean yes this is luck but i put myself here yeah like if you hadn't done that preparedness work if you hadn't worked on yourself and improved yourself it's like you're not even you don't even have the opportunity it's like I, exactly. I say to guys all the time work on yourself go outside talk to a bunch of women some of them will accidentally say yes to you and you'll have sex and it will seem like a fluke but it's like motherfucker you worked on yourself for several years you went outside and talked to hundreds of girls it's not a fluke it's a fluke but it's not really a fluke exactly exactly let's start wrapping up this was a crazy fucking story i'm incredibly <laughs> i'm incredibly like happy for you but also just like confused as to like how this crazy shit happened i, I guess i want to say are you going to see them again yeah i was just going to say it. so okay, i good. think i will at least one or two more times you have to. i forgot you have to mention to. i've got to mention um like after the morning after it happened i got a text from them saying like oh you know last night was such a good time i told um the husband's name that yeah i'd like to see you again so if you're down then you know hit us up and we can have some more fun and i'm like nice. yeah sure sounds good you know why not you're fit your husband seems cool and doesn't want to get involved so it's like a, a, a plus for me and yeah. i'm even thinking now like maybe this is how like I, I don't think you would consider this a threesome right so i'm like okay maybe i could use this situation and bring in like some other girl that i know do it it's Body, holy right? shit <laughs> holy shit do it do it do it dude are really you, do you have any other friends with benefits at the moment are there other i had i had yeah i had one but dude you I'll, 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 I'll try to figure something out I'll you have to this would be, okay this would be the craziest threesome story ever i reckon like i'm cucking some guy's wife and also i have another one of my friends another girl that's helping me mm. cuck him because like, it's a dual cuck I'm not sure. Like, if I, I was, I was thinking, if I bring another girl in, like, would the husband then want to fuck this yeah, girl? Yeah, that's too, what you. Or... That's what you got to figure out. Like, you got to talk about what you're happy with, what your girl is happy yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to talk about yeah, this. Exactly. I would talk to the exactly. couple as well. I would say to them, like, hands off her. She's just gonna touch the wife. I'd also ask mm -hmm. him, like, are you okay with another girl? Mm -hmm. Is is mm -hmm. the wife even bisexual? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, these are all things I guess we'd have to figure out. I mean, okay, here's here's the weird... Here's, like, you could do so much shit with this. Like, depending on what you're into and what you mm. want to actually do, you could do something like you bring your girl, like, make it a swingers thing, but you don't actually swap partners, more like a voyeurism thing. Like, you fuck your girl while he fucks his wife. Yeah, something like yeah that. that's another possibility. Yeah, exactly. Just like, yeah, I don't know what you guys are into. Like, get your freak on. Try this shit. <laughs> this is shit. This is shit I've never done. So, like, I'm curious about this shit too. Yeah. We'll I want, I want to live vicariously through you. And see we'll you see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Like I got yeah. a text from her today. She's apparently coming back to, or they're apparently coming back to my city, mm -hmm. to no Monday. Mm -hmm. So maybe this week we'll figure something out. We'll Fuck see. yeah, dude! Please, please, please tell me. I mean, I know you will anyway. I know you'll text me. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I maybe I'll do an update like just myself or whatever. If you do anything crazy afterwards, I'll just say like, here's an update. He went into this shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a popular episode because I'm going to have a clickbait title like my friend oh, cucked yeah. some guy and fucked his wife. That's <laughs> that's, gonna, that's gonna be the title. <laughs> oh, man, you know that's getting clicks. You know that's getting clicks. Dude. Oh, that's sure, a dirty sure. fucking title, but I'm going to run for with sure. that. So, yeah, is there? I for sure, I have to stay at Monday doing this. Now. <laughs> is there anything you want to my... shout out? Um. Other than yeah, Tinder, sure. for getting you yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, just yeah, last little bit of advice for everyone. Just yeah, look good and talk to girls. Like it's really, that's what it all boils down to in the end, in terms of like just getting laid thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, in terms of like personal plugs, um, if you're on Twitter, then go out and follow Carnival Sapien on Twitter. That's my uh, alter ego, where I talk a lot about Bitcoin and eating meat. I will put it. I've made a note. So Carnivore Sapien, I will put a link in the description below to that. Go check him out. Yeah. And thank you very much for coming on. This is like fucking hilarious to me. Thanks, mate. Very fucking <laughs> hilarious to me. Thanks I like this story. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, yeah. dude. No, thanks for coming on. Right. Adios, amigos.